Hey everyone, so it's uh, me again. I didn't film this last night because my phone was actually dead, but uh, after I got done playing with the drone and stuff, I took the mini bike engine out. And you guys can't really see that well, but there it is there. It's the Predator 212, cheap Harbor Freight one. See the mini bike back there. Um, I had the governor bypassed. Not really bypassed. I had it where when the throttle here went full throttle, it actually pulled on the governor rod. That way it had governed speed for, you know, seven eighths of throttle, but then when you went wide open, it stay wide open. Um, last night I took it apart, took the governor pieces out. I got those there. Um, it's very easy to do. It only takes about an hour. Um, so that. What most people have an issue with, though, after that, is hooking the throttle up. And, uh, they have, you know, they end up taking the factory rod here and bending it up and drilling holes in this and putting it in there. What I ended up doing, I don't know if they all have it or not, but you can see that piece of copper wire in there. Right at the bottom... You can focus on that. There you go. At the bottom of this, there's that tab bent down. And I just made a quick little bracket. I don't have a flat. Oh, there's a flash. I'll show you in a second. Okay. I made not a bracket, but a linkage. You can see that one there. Let me see if I can set the camera up so I can hold the light and work the throttle at the same time. Here. You can see the brat. This is what moves originally. You can see a piece of copper just attaching the two. And that right there is your throttle. So when I give it gas, getting everything out of the way here. Here we go. You can see that turning, and that goes all the way back to idle. I don't know why more people don't do that because all it is is a simple, simple couple bends. Um, in a piece that you can even use the factory one. So this one originally went hooked in there like that is, and it went back here to the governor. Um, you could bend this one to do the same thing. Um, it works really good. This is my throttle here. You can see it. Oh, this one's hard to do without it attached, but... Yeah, that's that. Um, the governor removal process, like I said, was super easy. Just take the tank off. Two bolts, two nuts back there. One right there. Oop. One right there. Tank comes off. Well, obviously, you gotta disconnect your fuel line. Um, you take the intake here off, which is just these two up front. Slide that off. You know, disconnect your little bits and pieces. Take the. I got the clutch back on it, but take this cover off. Make sure you drain the oil first. Take this cover off. Tip it up. A lot of people. They actually. This is the rod that comes in from the top, and then. I get that focus. As it spins, you know, the engine, this is what actually actuates the thing, the governor rod on the outside, which is attached here. A lot of people end up cutting this to get it out. But what I found is you can just turn the crank to get it, you know, you take the cam out, turn the crank to get it, you know, out of the way. And I just took, I probably put it away already. No, a punch. And I just tapped on it, tapped on it, tapped on it. It slowly slid down and you just keep turning the crank and it pops right out the bottom. And then to fill the hole where that went in, I don't know if you'll be able to, yeah, you'll see it. Right in there. Right. The tip of my pinky right there is where the governor rod goes through. That black thing I was just showing you. But the bolt... 
That's actually the pinch bolt on the actual external governor rod for this. I just tapped it right in there. It's a snug fit. Shouldn't fall out. Seals up the hole. It's just that easy. So, um, just waiting on oil for this. I actually got this clutch all tuned back up and in place before it was up just loose on the shaft and it would wander. And when I give it gas, you know, a hard acceleration, the whole motor would twist over like this because the chain pulling on it and this would walk out and then pop the chain off. So I gotta reinforce my motor mounts and stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't know. If my motor just has that tab and a lot of others don't, only some of them do. That's what makes it harder for people to, you know, make a linkage. If you watch some of the other videos on YouTube, people making that linkage, they'd come up with all kinds of crazy contraptions in there, you know, using all different springs and stuff, and, you know, the return spring on this, the factory one, it's right there, works just fine, so... Thanks for watching. Um, hope this helps somebody out. I wish I could have made a more detailed video about actually doing it. But like I said, my phone was dead and it was 11 o'clock at night last night. So, um, The drone... Yeah, oh, that's a different video. Um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope this helps somebody out.